Hi, this is Denise, and thank you so much for joining me today. I am so excited. I wanted to discuss with you all of my findings from my Saturday shopping that I think you'll really enjoy because there's some items that I don't even think I can live without now. So I'm thinking if I can't live without them, then you probably can't live without them. So let's get of started. Course, I went to the Mac counter and when I do shopping or have makeup on here or anything, I've already done tons of research for you. I'm looking at what's selling, what do women like, what colors are working for you know women our age, what makeup is working for women our age. And so by doing that, hopefully I'm saving you time, money, hassle, you know, I'm getting you interested in some things that, you know, potentially could help maybe some of the problems that you're having, you know, with your skin or what have you. But one of the funnest items that I found at the Mac counter, it's called Prep and Prime, is it's almost like a natural highlighter. And so all you do is just screw at the bottom so that the product comes out and I'll show you. It has a brush. It's called Prep and Prime and it was on the mat counter and what you do what i did anyways i took a brush and so what this does is it gives you like a natural glow in like in a bottle and it really does i mean i was just flabbergasted so the areas that i actually put it on my brush was i actually put some here and i put some here and i put some here and actually I put a little bit here and a little bit on my cheekbone. I know I went kind of crazy. I'm not saying I would do that all the time, but for sure here, here, and here. There's something about it that just, ugh, it just like opens up your face. And you wouldn't think something as simple as a little like yellow highlighter in a bottle is gonna do that much, but it really, really did. And um, so I fell in love with this. I'm like, this is, you know, one of them products that I'm just going to be using, at least for now. Uh, it really helped here. I don't know if there's some sort of like natural shadow, you know, as we get older that kind of falls there. But I couldn't believe it. I was just like, wow. I mean, it just kind of brightened and opened my face up a little more. So I was really excited about this. And uh, the next product that when I went to the counter that I fell in love with was of course the MAC lipsticks. And they have all kinds. They have satin, they have eggshell, they have semi-gloss, high gloss. I mean, no, this isn't paint that I'm talking about, but it's lipstick. And their formula is just out of this world. It's creamy, it goes on smooth, uh, it lasts, you know, like all day. And uh, the co this color that I picked out was Cream in Your Coffee, but I wanna go back, I wanna try some other ones. This is more of what I would consider like a night color or evening, but I wanna get something a little more, you know, nude for the day. And then I also even wanna try like a fuchsia color, you know, like one of those pinks, but not real fuchsia, but just something fun, you know, when you go out and maybe you're wearing black and you know, uh, you wanna just kind of really brighten up your smile. So I love these MAC lip colors. And you know, for a department store, I mean, most of these lip colors run, they start at about like $16. So, you know, when I think of like, L'Oreal at Walmart. I mean, those are like eight, nine, ten bucks. But you know, with the Mac, you're you're at a department store. You actually get to try on the lip colors. And you know, when you're at Walmart looking at L'Oreal, you don't. You know, so I'm thinking for six, seven extra dollars, I can try on all these lip colors, make sure I like them. Uh, and that is so much fun trying on different you know lip colors. And also, you you know have the they have a very liberal return policy. I'm sure it depends on department stores, but if you're not happy even after you get home in different lighting, as long as you save the box, you can return it. So you know so much more. You know even though you're paying six seven dollars more, you're getting so much more. You know you can try it on. You know and then a lot of places like at Walmart, once you buy that L'Oreal lip color 
you can't return it, you know, because they're pretty much like, well, you opened it, now it's used, it has your germs on it, we can't do anything with it, we can't resell it, so you're pretty much stuck with it. So for the extra money, it was totally worth it, and it was so much fun to try on, you know, different shades. And so I am actually wearing this color now, and uh, absolutely love it, but of course, the very, very favorite product, I just about fell over when I tried this on because I had never tried their lip liners. Their lip liners are out of this world. Uh, this is their lip liner here. And so this would be the lip liner that is in not, not the wooden pencil that you sharpen, but this is actually the one that you would, you know, screw the bottom and it would come up at the top and this formula to me is different than the pencil i i like the pencil you know because you can sharpen it and it's the tips always sharpen but this actually stays pretty good it, you know the tip is as far as anyway for precision but the very first thing i noticed when i uh, tried using this was that if i could just define it it was melted precision on my lip and it's like wow i mean <laughs> incredible it, it it was incredible because it, it was like i could you know put on my liner you know go around with it outline my lip and then i think the key is is when you do outline your lip is just to fill it in a little bit with the liner so that you're not going really drastic you know from liner to lip color and just making it more gradual and what i did is just kind of feathered it down to get a little bit of the color in there and then the same thing with the bottom but what i was able to do with this lip liner is get i mean i can do a pouty lip you know where i fill in my little triangle thing all the way or you know i have a, a more defined triangle or today i just i have more of a I would call it not really a pouty lip, but a little bit of a triangle, but not so much. And um, I just love it. it. It stays on all day. It is so easy to work with. It, I mean, it literally melts with precision. I, I can't even explain it. It's just absolutely incredible. So I would like to actually go back and get a couple more colors of this, um, you know, one for more of a day look and then probably one you know if i go with like a fuchsia pink you know in the lip color you know maybe more of a fuchsia lip liner uh totally love it helps your lipstick stay you know where you put it uh great great product and i think that's what's really nice about trying all these different products is that it seems like each line or company you know they kind of have their own specialty you know what they specialize in and so i think that's what's nice about not necessarily sticking just to one you know like i only use this or i only use that uh, because you get to experiment with different lines and you you get to see some of their staple products or what's made them successful uh, versus you know just using everything in that line if that makes sense and uh, so another product that I, I wanted to talk with you about that wasn't necessarily my favorite product, so you know maybe this will actually save you some money, was this Prep and Prime. And their big thing with this is that you actually put this on first, and this is just, it's basically like a, a chapstick to me anyway, you know, when you turn the bottom and you get the chapstick up. And what this is for evidently is to smooth the lip that you are to put this on before you put on the lipstick and the lip liner. To me, this was just more of a glorified chapstick. I, I, I didn't notice anything different than, you know, what a chapstick would do for me. Uh, I'm not necessarily real big on that I have to have some chapstick on before I put my lipstick on. And in fact, I usually get better success out of just using the actual lipstick itself because it tends to stay on longer and it tends to stay where I put it which is on my lips I, I don't normally have very good success with these but since I bought it I, you know I'll keep it and I'll probably just use it to freshen up my color but I wouldn't say this is something you know if the sales idea is like oh well you know you have to use this before you put your lipstick on 
I, I, I would probably pass on this, you know, so that's going to save you some money right there. Uh, and then a couple other products that I'm using for fall, you know, that I wanted to tell you about because, of course, you know, the palettes change. And so, you know, if you were kind of using your pinks and peaches for the summer, I've switched over. I actually kind of forgot about this color. It was kind of in the bottom of my makeup bin, you know, where I kind of throw stuff, you know, either I get tired of it or the seasons have changed. And so I keep the things that I use on, on my top drawer. But what I went back to is by NARS, and they're pretty well known for their uh, color Orgasm, which is their cheap color. And um, this one in particular is called Lovejoy. So it's a real, I'm gonna cover up that mirror there. It's, what I like about it is it's similar to Orgasm, more of a fall color. It's actually what I'm wearing today, but it is more, I would say, it has like a milled in shimmer, you know, to give you a nice glow, but it doesn't have that like PC glittery, rocky glitter that I, I'm not real fond of it myself. And so if you're wanting like a little bit of a shimmer and a glow, I think this is, you know, a really good choice that I've turned to for this fall. And, um, it's called Lovejoy, but like I say, there's one of their most well-known cheek colors is actually called Orgasm. And again, that's going to be that more PC, chunky, kind of glittery look. So I uh, just wanted to let you know that I'm loving this color for fall. And another color I've also turned to for this fall, uh, it's by Buxom. And it's more of like a, almost like a deep, a real deep pink color. And this is really another good choice here for fall that I just love. And it's called Shangri-La La. And I can do, you know, a little bit on my finger here. And this is, you know, a deeper, you know, maybe something you would use more for evening. But this is another one of my go-to love colors for fall that I've been using that I just wanted to share with you. And as far as that goes, I think I'm about done with everything that I'm using for fall that I just love, that I wanted to share with you. And, uh, you know, if there's any fun MAC, MAC lip colors or liners that you're using, you know, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel because uh, either tomorrow or Thursday, I'm going to come out with the week three video. And so if you're not familiar with that, every week I come out with a new video that you can exercise to that's specifically catered to the middle-aged woman. So it's low impact, you know, a lot of thought has gone into these videos. You know, it's something that I've written out days before, you know, I've been trying it and practicing it. So a lot of my heart has gone into it because I, I really want to help women you know, get in, into shape or lose weight or get the cholesterol down or help with diabetes, blood pressure, you know, get these things under control. And so this is my way, you know, to, to pitch in and, and help and, and hopefully it is helping. So um, be sure to subscribe so that you're notified whenever a new video is posted and then you'll always be in the loop. So, uh, but thank you for joining me today and we will see you soon. Bye.